here for my second more set video, which means I've heard her before, which means I know that she is a powerhouse. And I do not use that word lightly. That is not hyperbole. She was stellar in every element of her performance. What video was it? I'm not going to tell you. Go find it. I don't know, dig around or don't. Also, my hair is missing. Well, I mean, the hair that I have is here, but the hair that I had yesterday is gone because it got cut and the dude who cut it, I'll put him in the description. And now we're gonna watch this video. Why? Because people like us watch videos like this. Come on, Morissette. Let's put it on them. <laughs> I already waited twice as long as I should have. It only took four seconds to be like, oh yeah, that's what a great singer sounds like. No interest in a song like this. None. Zero percent. But her singing is spectacular, and I want to hear more of her singing. If she was like a B minus, but I'd already be like turning the video off. voice is so spectacularly played. I'm going to say played like an instrument because I really think that great melodicism is reminis reminiscent of uh, really good horns like saxophone, trumpet, or really good strings, you know, typically violinist. Also, it could be like cellist. Um, I feel like she plays her instrument with the virtuosity of, uh, of any string player. <laughs> because I heard her the last time go way above this range. She didn't have any of the squeaks. She's so good. That I th think she intentionally put little squeaks in that sound good that make you like the performance even more.
Is she just sitting with that female Dimash? She did not just do that. Remember thinking she was spectacular, but you forget, you know, and you step away from something you're like, oh yeah, I remember thinking of A plus, but I forget, and now I hear it. And uh, again, I'm only listening to this song because she's the one singing it, and she is doing amazingly well. This is what I'm telling y'all, and maybe you don't care, but I'm I'm telling it to the world. If she had this voice on a dance track, on a pop track, I would be listening to her every single day of my life. Because that's what my single days are. They're in my life. <laughs> Small things. I'm going to go silly on you, but I'm going to go real. You see her hair in front of that uh, you know, earmuff? That's because she's so good. When you are trying to do your best, a lot of times you'd be like, dude, this hair is bothering me. Let me get that back here. But she's like, psh, psh, let me let my hair dangle. I'll just kill all the notes anyways. ridiculous man I already said what I had to say she's spectacular she kind of reminds me of a, a female version of you know I'm gonna go back to EXO like she sounds amazing but then she also looks pretty she got like cool fashion she got nice hair she got straight teeth you don't have to have any of that to sound great but you happen to have it. So like the dudes on EXO, it's like, oh, you sound awesome. Your songs sound awesome, but you also look great. You have great hair. You have great uh, fashion. You got great choreography. And she's sitting in a chair with some headphones on, just destroying the world with her voice. That's not fair. I hope, will someone find her on like a dance track? Does she do dance tracks? Either get her on a dance track or just take her, just cut and paste your voice, man. Take it from the thing and put some drums behind it so I can lose my mind to a dance track with a singer like that. It's like old Mariah Carey, man. When Mariah Carey got on some dance jams, it was unstoppable, unstoppable, unstoppable. All right, let's move on now. Let's completely change things up. Let's do Save Me by BTS and a live version of Ooh La La by EXO.